Natalie and I have been talking about how our homes are ready for the holidays and decorated. Well, another place that's decorated and, and uh, ready to welcome your family is the Glacier Children's Museum. And so we're so excited to welcome back Kate White to tell us everything that's going on there for the holidays and why memberships is a great gift idea. I know a lot of families talking about giving the gift of an experience instead of something actual, you know, a toy that'll then be uh, later thrown out, you know, months from now. Good to see you, Kate. Good to see you too. Thanks for having me on. So I know it's been a crazy year. Update us on how things are going right now and how you're still able to welcome families. Absolutely. I mean, it's been so strange, but we reopened in June. So we've really gotten down the whole clean, safe, fun approach that we're taking to make sure that we can continue to offer a place for kids to come, uh, cope with the stress they're dealing with at home and um, in school, and just kind of, you know, let loose and let play be a respite for them. I love that you said that because I can totally see that with my kids. They need a break, they need a, an outlet, kind of a creative outlet. How are you guys doing that? So how are you doing that here in the holidays? Oh, we are definitely emphasizing kind of making and creativity this holiday season, but of course it's um, very festive and wintry. Uh, the one thing I'm most excited about is that we just opened Gingerbread Village. It's an annual exhibit that we change and tweak every year. Um, and it's a, it's a place where kids can build and design their own gingerbread houses like the one right here. Um, and they're using all recycled materials. So we've got the supplies, cardboard and pipe cleaners and bottle caps, and then the kids get to be as creative as they want and, um, and families work together. And let me tell you, I've seen tree houses. I've seen a model of our museum. I've seen pirate ships. Kids are really getting really creative. And then they're adding to the village that's there. So it's growing over the course of the month. And that's really exciting and fun. So it stays there. Everything you don't take it home, you like are contributing yeah, to the I village. Mean, if, somebody, if a child really wants to take it home, of course they okay. can. But it's something really fun about, ha about adding to our growing village. And it's just become yeah. really festive. And there's this beautiful display of all the creative designs that kiddos have. Um, and so then you can come back throughout the month and see your own design and see what everyone else has added to our village as well. Oh, I love that. Hey, we're looking uh, inside now. Explain it, if, if a family has not yet been, what are the best age ranges that you really try to get kids to come out that can really enjoy this this uh, museum? Well, we specialize in everything age zero to 10. Um, and there are different areas of the museum that are catered to certain age groups. Um, Gingerbread Village is great because you really can work together as a family. So a younger child can have a little more assistance from their parents. Um, then an older child might be able to do a little bit more intricate designs. Um, but as you can see in that last clip there, that yeah. was our mascot, Crumb the Gingerbread Kid, um, who walks around the museum. And so that's really exciting for the little ones to be able to see a character like that. Uh, there's just like playful, fun things for all of those ages, and then they can guess and see which works best for them. Awesome. Uh, I understand you guys have camps this time of year too, right? Or upcoming camps. Yes, we try to do schools out camps um, so that when parents need to work or if they just wanna let their kids get out um, of the house, stretch their legs and their imaginations. Um, we do have camp the week of Christmas um, and it's daily camp. So you can send your kids for just a day for $60, let them um, build, create, imagine, discover, and you know have a little bit of time with other kids. Uh, talk about New Year's for a second too, because I think as much as uh, parents are welcoming 2021, I feel like kids are going to be just as excited for that as well this year. What are you guys going to be doing for New Year's? And, well, we have downtown countdown every year, and it is going to look a little different this year, but that's okay. We're coming up with really creative solutions to a lot of the things that, um, like in the past, we've done ball drops and, and all the kids run and jump together, and we're, we're going to figure out ways to do this in a more socially distanced manner, uh, just like we did with Halloween and we'll do it again with New Year's, um, but it's gonna be a great way for families to celebrate together because there is a lot of the good things to celebrate. Yes, I agree. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You guys have done a wonderful job. I know that it's been a lot of rethinking and replanning, but kudos to you and the team. Give us, a, give them our, our best wishes. There's the website, which I know that's kind of the best place to get the lowdown and everything happening this time of year, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Well, happy holidays to you and your family, Kate. Happy holidays.